Hello, and welcome back to World Hydrogen North America 2025, brought to you by World Hydrogen Leaders, now a part of S&P Global. Uh, my name is Brian Murphy. I'm the head of hydrogen research at S&P Global Commodity Insights, and I'm joined today by Tim Calver from ITM Power. Tim, thank you so much for joining us. You're welcome. So very pleased to be here. Thank you. I hope you're enjoying the conference so far. Yeah, it's great. We arrived on Sunday, so got settled in and basically, you know, had a few good days in Houston. So it's been a very warm welcome. Thank you. We're pleased to be here. Great. Well, uh, I think it might be good to start by telling us a little bit about ITM Power as a company. Sure. Well, look, ITM has been around for 25 years. We're a leading PEM electrolyzer manufacturer globally. Uh, we're, we're, we're based in the UK, but obviously very excited by the potential in the US market. Um, and we're delivering at scale, right? So we are in the process of constructing 400 megawatts of PEM electrolyzers for our customers in the European markets. So right now you're mostly focused on the European market. So would you say that's correct? Yeah, I think the reality is the European markets have been strong, right? The regulation is well advanced there and they're moving forward. So we're seeing customers taking real investment decisions on large scale projects. So, you know, just recently we signed up opportunities for three uh, five megawatt projects and a 20 megawatt project, the, the last in the Nordics. And we're building three 100 megawatt projects for industrial clients all in Germany. And 100 megawatts, I mean, that's a relative, or significant size, particularly for the European market these days. Yeah, look, and I think part of our message here is that we are ready to deliver at that scale. So that's two 100 megawatt projects for RWE, a major energy company, and one for Shell at their refinery in Besseling, Germany. And they've invested in that after already operating 10 megawatts of our equipment. So that's a real confidence boost for us in terms of somebody that's bought the technology, operated it, liked it, and is now ready to invest in, in 100 megawatts. And the first 100 megawatts with RWE is going into commissioning this year. Well, that, that's really, really exciting. 100 megawatt commissioning is, uh, is rare in the market today. Obviously, we hope to see more of it in the, next, in the coming years. So speaking about you know, what's next for ITM, you're delivering in Europe. Do you have uh, you know, plans for expansion beyond the European market? Yeah, we do. Absolutely. Right. I mean, the European market will continue to be a stronghold for us, but we see, you know, big markets like the US, Australia, APAC more generally is, is really exciting. And, you know, the, the potential for low cost renewables, for industrial decarbonization and for export in those markets means they're absolutely key to ITM going forward. And what about the products? Um, do you know, do you need to d design or develop a product that's specific to those markets outside of Europe? We do, but, but that's in progress, right? So, so, I mean, all our products at the moment are regionally compliant in all of the CE regions for Europe. We've already got full compliance in the North American regions for our stack and skid, which is at the, the heart of our product. And we are now in the process of working through compliance for our, our Neptune 5 megawatt containers. So that's one of the key products for us at the moment. You know, perfect for projects in a scale from 5 up to 50 megawatts really kind of, you know, factory built, low site integration costs, um, and those are ready to come to the US. So, so, so we're looking to deploy those into the US from the end of 2026. Yeah, uh, really exciting potential developments uh, on, on that front. Um, so tell us a little bit, a bit more about your experience here at World Hydrogen North America so far over the last couple of days. You know, what have you learned? What conversations have you been having? So it kind of feels like everyone's got a similar set of questions, right? Really around, you know, how is the current uncertainty going to play out? Um, we've seen a lot of people ready to move and enthusiastic, but maybe everyone a little bit kind of cautious. So, so the message we've been really trying to bring is that the technology is ready to deploy at scale. I think we all recognize that the right regulations need to be in place, but people shouldn't worry about the ability to deliver the technology, right? So as soon as the project developers are ready for investment decisions, we're ready to deliver. Well, I think that's an exciting message, and I really thank you for your time. Um, so this has been an interview with Tim Calver of ITM Power. Again, my name is Brian Murphy, and thank you for joining us uh, here from World Hydrogen North America 2025.